I'm sure you all heard of the dark web or the hidden web. There are many names for it. Um, this cannot be accessed by Google. It's not indexed by Google. It's not indexed by Yahoo or any of your typical search engines. It is something like 500 times the size of the internet that we are familiar with. And the only way to access it is with the Tor browser. And in order to do that, we're going to go to torproject.org. And this is where it will be downloaded. Now, I've already done this, so I'm going to close this window. And you can see on my desktop, here's the Tor browser. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to start the browser. And you'll see the connection up here, connecting to the network. So when you get this page, you know that you are connected to the hidden web. And one of the best things, I think, to start with is to go in and look for onion links. A site on the Tor network, a site on the hidden web, is known as a dot onion site. And the addresses of these onion sites are not your typical. It almost looks like an IP address. It's kind of a jumble of numbers and letters. Not very pretty. And dot onion. But you need to look for onion links. Or onion directories even. And that's a good place to start. There's one deep web links. You can find all kind of directories like this. And now you must be warned that some of the things you find on the hidden web are really kind of frightening and illegal and all of that, and I'm certainly not condoning that. But the Tor network was originally created so that in areas where the internet is forbidden or the internet is highly regulated, that people could still get out on the internet through the Tor network where they might be censored or shut down by the government. As you can see here, there are all kind of links. This is a link directory. And you see what these addresses look like. This is a dot onion. And see the letters here, the numbers and letters here. It's not your typical website address. And you will find all kind of directories like this. So I will have a link to the Tor browser for you to go download beneath this video. And that's a good way to get started and just go see what's out there. And like I said, just be prepared that some of the services on, on here and all are completely illegal. And, but it is not, it's not totally that. You can find all kinds of things on here. And the Tor browser is how you get started. So I hope this helps get you started.